Welcome to the BetQL Daily Boost. I'm Lucy Burge of BetQL.com, and I am joined by Kate Constable and Casey Hudson. And we have a Thursday night football odds boost for all of you today. Happy TNF Eve. This is on Dak Prescott. You have over 299 and a half passing yards and over one and a half passing touchdowns tomorrow on Thursday Night Football, boosted to plus 210 at Caesars. What do we think of this boost? We think this is a great boost. First of all, Dak Prescott, over his last five games, he has thrown at least two touchdowns in each of them. He's thrown four touchdowns in three of those games. So he's finding his receivers uh, in the end zone quite a bit. He's also thrown for over 300 yards in four of those five games almost he's thrown 401 375 in another so he's hitting these marks pretty easily and seattle's secondary is not the best it's given up a lot of yards to opposing wide receivers not too many quarterbacks have gone over these numbers lately against um the seahawks despite their secondary not being great um commanders are the only one to do it but allowed sam howell quite a few yards and he's a uh, quarterback that tends to uh, has a big arm likes to take some shots downfield so that's kind of similar to Prescott in a sense so I think that this is a great boost you're getting good value here on numbers that Prescott has been hitting consistently so Casey I really like this one yeah I'm right there with you Kate especially because as you mentioned the Seahawks secondary is probably not always so on point this defense has allowed an average of like 249.9 249.9 yards per game. So if there's a quarterback that's going to come in and kind of up the ante there, I think Jack Prescott can be that guy. And there's so much drama around his name. He's kind of turfed back at the fact of like the MVP conversation and all these different things. So I think when a guy like Prescott comes in with that chip on his shoulder, he's more than capable of it. You said the Commanders were one of a few teams that got 300 plus passing yards on this team, Panthers, Lions, and Bears. Also in that category. So the Cowboys can very much add themselves to that list. This defense also lets up about an average of 1.27 passing touchdowns per game also. And Prescott was injured last season, but the last time he saw the Seahawks when Russell Wilson was in the pocket and they were a much more formidable team, he had 472 passing yards and three passing touchdowns versus the Seahawks team. So I think he can get the job done in that Thursday night football matchup. Yes, hopefully he can get in on this. Plus 210 at Caesars and get up to $1,500 back in bonus bets. On your first wager at BetMGM by entering code Lucy1000 when you sign up for a new BetMGM account now and head to BetQL.com. Get your free three-day trial today and check out our exclusive sports book offers there as well. Always a tongue twister. And follow us on X at the Sports Case at Kate Constable and at Lucille Burge. Our favorite bets today, I'm going with college basketball. I'm going with North Carolina minus two against Tennessee. North Carolina is three and three against the spread Tennessee also three and three against the spread and the team has lost their last two games Tennessee has while North Carolina is coming off of a win and they are averaging 85 points scored per game this is what sealed it for me 85 per game Tennessee averaging 73 per game so with a small spread like two points I think North Carolina can cover this minus two at home against Tennessee Lucy, would you look at that? I'm also doing college basketball today. First day we do college basketball in quite some time. Right? I was like, oh, should I go with NBA? But I was like, oh, I don't want to pick the same thing as Kate. But now we're both. Love it. We'll match outfits and we match bets. Look at this. Love it. Um, I'm going with Iowa's team total under 96 and a half. We're typically forced to bet the under with Iowa's football team. So we're supposed to be able to bet overs with this basketball team. Those are just the rules. I don't make them up. I just follow them. But not in this case. I'm actually going under tonight. And despite this game being completely lopsided, I was playing North Florida. Iowa's offense is 13th in offensive efficiency. North Florida's defense is 330th in defensive efficiency. That's according to Ken Pop. So this looks like a game where Iowa should be able to just run up the score. Uh, But a look ahead spot for the Hawkeyes. They have number one Purdue on the schedule next. So I wonder if that maybe throws them off a little bit. They're not quite as focused in this matchup. Uh, Maybe shots aren't falling as well as they typically do. And if they get up big, I could also see Fran McCaffrey pulling his starters a little bit earlier than he typically does just to preserve them for this next matchup with Purdue because that is a huge, huge game, a conference matchup as well. So I think Iowa scores well into the high 80s, but getting over 96, having to hit that 97 mark uh, feels pretty high. It's not something that they have done since the early part, their first two games of the season when they had 110 against North Dakota and 98 against Alabama State. I think um, 
Iowa doesn't quite hit the over in this one tonight. So staying under 96 and a half points. I love that. I wish I got the college basketball memo. Just kidding. I wouldn't. <laughs> um, but I like both of those. Of course, I'm taking it to the NHL. Uh, Red Wings, after that big announcement of Patrick Kane, they're going to be really feeling themselves in this matchup versus the Rangers tonight. Doesn't particularly mean that they'll win, but this is already a close game on November 7th. So I'm taking defenseman Shane Gostaspier over just half a point over at DraftKings for plus 124. Uh, he had a big four-point night versus the Minnesota Wild on Sunday. He's got 18 points on the season, 13 assists, two power play goals, one game-winning goal. The list goes on and on and on. And I love this guy so much because the Red Wings are kind of on my list as that team to really rebuild themselves in the offseason, have a fighting chance to make playoffs. They continue to make the case for that. And... And then Gostasphere has sort of like revitalized, revamped his career. We're kind of seeing that guy that was so dominant with the Flyers come back in this Red Wing system. So I think he can play well tonight. They had a lot of hiccups versus the Rangers on November 7th. So they're going to be cleaning up some mistakes. They're going to have uh, excitement on their side. They're going to be able to change up some of their game plan and really throw their lines in the blender. So I think that's going to generate chances for their defensemen to get involved. Career-wise, 12 assists versus the Rangers. And I think we're just looking at a good game tonight. But over half a point should be an easy slot for Gostasphere. Love that. Get in on all of these bets and the odds boost plus 210 at Caesars and subscribe to the BetQL Daily Boost wherever you get your podcasts.